He's tried a bunch of different things. And what he decides to do is there will be some canals built to hook into the bayou system on the west side of the river. The Mississippi River is risen. The only dry places are right next to the bayou. And what he is going to do is march his army from his sustainment up around Milliken's Bend, another place over here called Duck Fort. He's going to march his army below Vicksburg. And here's where he turns to that relationship he's built with David Dixon Porter, and he says, I'm going to need you to go by the city because I can't get across the river without ships. And David Dixon Porter says, okay, I'll do it, but don't ask me to go back up because it flows one way, and I'm going like two miles an hour past the guns in the other direction, okay? So Porter agrees to pass it. He doesn't know at this point where he's going to cross. There's a Confederate fortification here at Grand Gulf. This is an engraving from the other side of the river going across the bayou, but it looks pretty much the same. Grant's army's marching south along backwater bayous and roads. Porter's fleet passes Vicksburg on the night of the 16th. It's a dramatic, makes for a great picture. One ship sunk. Remember what I told you about field fortifications and artillery not being able to take out ships, especially ironclads. One ship is sunk, and I always think that's just worth looking at. Henry Clay, for those of you who know it, is the great compromiser. He's responsible for the compromise. There's one ship sunk. Now, interestingly, it is that burned out hulk that floats past the Union troops that are south of the river. They have a minute where they're wondering what's going on. All right? Um, David Dixon Porter's... Uh, fleet takes on the guns at Gulfport because this is going to be the ideal place for Grant to offload and set up a logistics base. But you can sail past them. It's really hard to knock out guns, fortify, uh, fortified positions ashore, and he's not able to do it. So what Grant has to do is find a place that he can land. And, and the story he tells it, others tell it as well, is that a contraband came and told him that there were no Confederates down here and that Bruinsburg would make a great place to sail across the river and offload your troops. 